Good morning, Stephanie Kammerman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for September 12th, 2019. What a fun morning it's been. I did send out those pre-market whispers on the major index ETFs uh, before they started to really rock and roll. Uh, but these levels are still good. So let's start with the SPY. Yeah, we definitely had a uh, movement up here. All right, so we hit a couple of targets, one target. Uh, but watch uh, 301.25, but really this 301.50 30, is gonna be really key. Oops, that's a little big. Let me just change that. Hold on. That's a little wide. All right. So this 305 level, that's now it's too skinny. The 305 level, 301.50 is, uh, yeah, is gonna be really key to watch. In fact, let me just see if there's anybody lined up to sell. Not really. No, nobody really big though. Okay. Um, we had some really nice prints on the SPY yesterday. That was an awesome clue by the dark pool. Right, we had those real-time prints. So I do love trading off those real-time prints. The best advice I can give you is to wait a little bit. Yeah, just wait a little bit. Don't wait that long. Let it shake a little bit. Um, if it moves down and then all of a sudden it moves up through it like it did yesterday, that's when you want to go in, right? We had 299.10, 1.6 million. Yeah, that was pretty key. Um, we're going to be bearish though below 300. Right now you see the 200 simple moving average right there as well. And again, that'll be a retracement trade down to the pivot. Let's go to the E-minis. E-minis are going to be bullish above 3010. Yeah, we did skyrocket this morning and hit three of our targets. But I know for you guys that do trade futures, you're trading them. Uh, pre-market so that was a great trade for you guys we got still love it it's above 3010 we still have some more targets that could be hit all the way up to 3025 the Russell we need to talk about the Russell we had the biggest dark pool level we have seen in a while on IWM 4.2 million powerful dark pool prints came in yesterday when I drew this big purple line, that's how I got the big purple. Uh, 153.71. This is the line in the sand, everybody. Yep. If we do go and close below that in the future, that's going to be bearish as long as we stay above that. Yep, that's bullish. That is a big dark pool level. But today, bullish above 157.50. We tested it, pull back. Yep, second test, watch that. Bearish below 156.50 for a retracement trade down. Okay, let's go to the QQQs. QQQs, bullish above 193.52. We just went above that and bearish below 193. Pretty light on the Qs, the dark pull yesterday. Yeah, nothing heavy there. The Russell, really, wow. Yeah, stood out. Let's go to the NASDAQ futures. Bullish above 79.60 and bearish below 7,900. And then let's go to the E mini Dows, bullish above. Yeah, these guys, hmm, not as strong. We're gonna be bullish above 27,265 and bearish below 27,150. Oil, wow, let's put up that oil chart. Yeah, because it's Thursday, so we only have two more days for this candle to finally paint. Let's go to this weekly chart again. Yeah, we're obsessed. So we, yep, see that? We up thrusted. I told you to watch for a possible up thrust here. Could happen. And it is, but we still have two more days. So let's see how they finish this candle off. But right now, bearish because it's not able to break and close above this T spot. So we'll see how we go uh, this week. But our levels to watch today are 
uh, bullish above 56 and bearish below 55 which we just went below see how we came back up to it and yep so we looks like we want to test this 54 49 Camarilla pivot boss level all right gold let's talk about gold holy cow the dollar and gold is skyrocketing insane you know it's weird you know when everything's up at the same time this morning bonds gold the dollar the fundamentalists are like fainting this morning what's going on nothing makes sense uh, <laughs> just follow the prints so this morning bullish above 1514 i sent that out it's definitely moving up uh quite a bit in fact it just hit my last target oh no we need more targets okay so the reason this was my last target is because look at these moving averages on the daily chart yeah we have the 20 and the 30 simple moving average orange and green here yeah these are really big the next trade setup is bullish above really 1530. yeah it's gonna have a tough time right here okay but if it can break above that's going to be bullish above 1530. Yeah, so we'll watch for that. And right now we are hitting R3 on here. Let me just show you as well. Now I found though that whenever we hit R3 on person's pivot early on, the odds of it going much higher increase significantly, okay? Yeah, rather than it taking all day to hit there. Yeah, when it happens fast, it, we're, we're going to a totally new bullish zone so let's go to the weekly chart and check out yep so this is huge let me make this bigger so if i go out in the bigger picture this was a big resistance trend line if you recall we hit it and then we pulled back to this one which is it's whenever we break out we go like this this and then glad so that's the wedge or breakout pattern. We always like to retest the area or the trend line that we've broken out of. Yep, just to mess everybody up. But if you're familiar with this pattern, uh, it's gonna really help you become a better trader and get your timing better. So yeah, this, this could be big. So let's watch those levels, watch the prints. And the prints, the prints, the prints. So we did have some pretty big prints on IAU recently. That's the dark pool favorite. So we will watch that. But we do have other prints on GLD and GDX. But IAU, is it 1475, I think? Hold on, let me just double check. Takes one second. And I believe... Hold on a minute. Oh, Dan. Thank you, Dan, in the room. 1473. I love you guys. And 1477. And, yep. Confirmation. It wasn't the biggest prints, but here. I actually have them right here. Here they are. 1477. 2.8 million. 1475. 2 million. 1473. 3 million. Yeah, so this is where they sold before they took it back down again. So these are key levels, and we'll see if we get new ones. Yeah, if we can break, and I would not trade IAU way slow. We could have a retracement to those prints to see if those guys still want to sell there. And if they don't and we go higher, then that is uber, uber bullish. Okay, let's move on to the regular stocks because we're running out of time. Let's go to Apple. Apple has been a great whisper, bullish above 226 today. Remember we had that print at 250, oh, that's 215, sorry, it's way below, sorry about that. That has no relevance today. Uh, bullish above 226 and bearish below 224, but you can see the smart money definitely bought way below. Uh, Nvidia. NVIDIA bullish above 187. It looks like it might want to go and hit that VWAP on the daily chart, this yellow line. Yep, that's a very popular pattern. Bearish below 185. Oracle. Oracle had surprise earnings yesterday. 
They were not supposed to come out till today. Did you guys notice that? Whoa, yeah, this is why you definitely wanna be careful, but we could trade this. I know Blanca was excited to, to trade it pre-earnings. So now we'll have to trade it post-earnings. So uh, today we're gonna be bullish above 56. We had very big dark pull print a little while ago, not too long ago, 54. 95 and look where we are right now we are right on that line and yes i did see that news donda that the ceo is taking time off due to health but the prints came first and then they announced earnings early donda yep interesting yeah we see so much manipulation it's ridiculous so okay Either way, we're going to trade it this way. Bullish above 56, bearish below 54.75. No thinking. GDX. Bullish above 28.50 today for GDX and bearish below 28. And let's go to Bank of America. Yeah, a lot of volume on that. Bank's not so happy on that ECB news. We, we, we will be bullish above 29.50 and bearish below 28.97. Thank you, Paul, for that whisper. We had prints 28.99 and 29.41. So that's why I'm using these levels. TLT. Bonds. Bullish above 142. We just broke above. Um, for a retracement trade back to the eight. So you can see on this daily chart, yeah, we could, this could be the, the next move up here. All right, to the eight. Then we're gonna have resistance uh, at this zone. 143.68, I believe, was a very big print for TLT. Am I correct, guys? I am live from the Java Pit trading room right now. So let me just check that out quickly. Yes, 143.68. So that is going to be very key. See this print here? This was a recent print. Yep, if we close above that, that's gonna be uber bullish. So watch 143, 68 in fact. Okay, 2.6 million, that's a massive print. Okay, and one more, and bearish below 140.50. Let's go to GLD. Yep, GLD bullish above 143.20. I did send this out early. Uh, bearish below 140.180. There you have it. Those are your whispers. I have a feeling today is going to be a wild day on Wall Street. Let's rock it, guys. Until next time, happy trading. No thinking, that's my secret. Can you keep it? My secret.